guys, Lyra here. So today we're going to talk about if you're afraid, if the person that you are maybe seeing, dating, whatever, is wanting to take things slow. So I am speaking from personal experience. I have dated and seen lots of men. <laughs> and right now I'm happily engaged and everything is good in terms of my relationship. But I've been in your shoes. I know what it's like to be dating or seeing someone or just, you know, maybe you're just bang buddies or whatever. And it's not really going your way. Maybe you want a relationship. Maybe you want this guy to be more committed. I have a couple things to say for you just from the perspective of having that happen in my past. So if a guy wants to take things slow, it's, it could really be anything. It really depends on the situation you're in. I would really pay attention to the age of the guy. If you're older and this guy is older too, I'd say over 30, maybe 40s, when he wants to take things slow, it can actually be a sign of wisdom and it's actually experience, experience that he's experienced in the past with being in relationships in the past, taking things too slow, things don't work out, and it kind of just ends up in disaster. It could just be him speaking from the fears of what happened in his past, which is completely understandable. But if a guy is younger, I'd say in his early 20s or is a teenager, I kind of would take that as a bad sign, honestly. If a guy wants to take it slow, I would actually kind of be like, is this guy actually that into me? I found, at least through my experience, that men who were in their 20s and they said that, it just meant that they kind of just wanted to fuck around, honestly. Like, that's just me speaking from my experience. I'm not trying to make you feel bad or anything like that, but it's really important for you to actually figure out what the truth is, right? You wanna get straight to the truth so that you can move forward in life, not waste your time, not waste your energy, and move towards the things that are gonna make you happy, and it might not be in this particular guy. So I'm not saying this is set in stone that if a guy is for sure in his 30s, it's good, and if a guy's for sure in his 20s, it's bad. I'm just saying generally that's kind of the case with men. The first thing I wanna say to this is that it's not a bad thing if someone says that they want to take things slow. It's actually going to work in your favor because rushing in a relationship, trying to move in right away, trying to be monogamous right away, trying to just hardcore commit right away, engaged, married, what is the rush? You don't need to rush. You want to savor that honeymoon phase. You want to savor that because trust me, that honeymoon phase will not last. Once that honeymoon phase is over and the relationship loses its fire and its newness, its novelty, it's not going to be as fun. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, that's just the normal progression of a relationship. You want to enjoy the honeymoon phase, you want to enjoy just being like totally enthralled and obsessed with this person and that you can't get enough of this person and just enjoying the whole experience of falling in love and why rush it? I have found through my friends' experiences and through my experiences that when you move in with this per when with someone, that's when the honeymoon phase kind of goes downhill. You start to realize the things that you don't like about them, their flaws, and the relationship kind of becomes reality. Like you kind of just hit reality. You kind of get out of that fantasy falling in love stage and reality hits and you realize I have to be with this person for the rest of my life. Can I live with this or that about them? Are we really that compatible? You start asking yourself those kind of questions. And again, that's all completely fine and completely part of a healthy relationship. But if you rush it and if you take things too fast, it can be kind of overwhelming for a guy I find. And he'll like say he wants to move in with you and he'll say he wants to like commit to you and everything. But when he realizes that things are changing too fast, he might actually pull back from it. It just takes a little bit longer for the whole reality of my whole life is changing. And when the reality of it actually hits him, that's when he'll kind of, he might kind of pull back. And I've just found this with the guys that I have dated in the past. It's just kind of a general pattern that I've noticed. So the whole point I'm trying to make is that it's not a bad thing if someone says they want to take it slow. It could be good. You know, you, you want to be wise. If this is really something you want long term, then what is the rush of moving in right away, getting married, being committed? Just take it slow. Or just, just be chill, okay? And if you're a woman who's already in the position of this guy said he wants to take it slow five years ago, okay, that is another story. That's too long, and if a guy is still saying that, 
it's time to move on. Honestly, five years is too long. It means he really just doesn't want to commit to you and you got to find someone better suited and you got to find a guy that actually wants what you want, right? That is my answer to that. It's not a bad thing. The guy wants to take it slow, not necessarily. The last thing I want to say is that if you just, you know, if it's, yeah, if it's um, one of your deepest wants to want a fulfilling, happy relationship with someone, to grow old with them, to have them as your best friend and your life companion, I want to tell you from personal experience that the best way to get that is to start within, to start within yourself rather than seeking outside of yourself. Start investing in yourself, start focusing on yourself and start loving yourself. And I'm telling you this from personal experience. I was in the position of desperately wanting someone to share my life with or being in a relationship was the most important priority in my life at the time. And I didn't get that. I didn't get a fulfilling, committed relationship through searching outside of myself. I got it by instead focusing on myself, focusing on my goals, loving myself, taking care of myself, becoming the person that I wanted to attract, turning myself and bringing myself to the vibration of the person that I wanted to attract, my ideal partner. So focus on yourself. And if you're in a relationship with someone, never lose your identity, never lose your dreams, your goals, your wants, your aspirations for yourself. Never sacrifice that. If you have to sacrifice that in a relationship, it is a deal breaker. Okay, so I'm telling you from personal experience, you come first. And when you are a whole happy individual with your own dreams, your own inspiration and your own life and your own things going on, I promise you, you are not going to have any issues with finding a guy who's going to want to commit to you and want to be with you for the rest of your life. Okay, guys, I hope that this video helped you and, you know, I'm wishing you all the love and joy and commitment and just fulfilling relationships that you are going to bring to fruition for yourself in the future. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.